Hi, I'm Vanessa from SpeakEnglishWithVanessa.com. I'm sorry. Let's talk about it. <laughs> Welcome to the fifth video lesson in the series Back to Basics. Because this month, July 2017, is the month that my baby will be born, I thought we could go back to the beginning with English and really review some of those basic concepts and also add some new expressions that maybe you don't use on a regular basis. I also have a gift, kind of a, a baby gift for you. If you'd like to download the free PDF guide with all of these back to basic expressions, there's seven different categories, then you can download the free PDF guide in the link in the description or up here. It's my gift to you so you can remember and use them. Let's talk about what to say if you made a mistake. Yesterday, I had some friends over to my house and one friend called me and he said, I'm sorry, I'm gonna be late. I'm sorry. He used this full expression and this shows that it's a little more serious. He was worried about being late. We use this fixed expression in situations where you really want to show that you're sorry. But what if you want to be a little more casual? Maybe you accidentally bumped someone when you were walking or something small happened like that. We have a couple more casual expressions that you can say. You could start with, so sorry, so sorry. The front door of my apartment doesn't have a window in it, so sometimes when I'm leaving the apartment, someone else is coming in. And if they open the door first, I'm kind of in the way. So I kind of have to jump back. And usually the other person says, oh, so sorry. It's not so serious. And this is a really casual situation. Oh, so sorry. But they could also have said, sorry about that. Sorry about that. Usually in this expression, because it's casual, and usually we say it pretty quickly, you can drop the A. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. So when someone opens the door and I have to jump back a little bit, they could say, oh, sorry about that. Sorry about that. And what about if you want to be extra casual? Well, you could say simply, my bad, my bad. And this means I made a mistake, it's my fault, I'm sorry, but it's pretty casual. So I don't recommend using this in business situations. It's certainly not rude, and you can use this with family, with friends, with acquaintances, but it is pretty casual. So use this in situations that are more familiar. If you accidentally open the door too quickly and someone has to jump away, you could say, oh, my bad. No problem. That's a great way to use this. So now it's your turn to use these apologizing expressions. In the comments below this video, I want you to use one or more of these and explain the situation. What's happening? Why are you using it? Try to remember it and use it as much as you can. Thanks so much for learning with me and I'll see you the next time. Bye. The next step is to download the free guide, Back to English Basics. I want to help you master these expressions and speak fluently. Feel free to subscribe so that you don't miss new English lessons. Thanks so much for learning with me. Bye.